In The Sims 4 University, we saw the return of the Pleasant Sisters, Angela and Lilith. Unfortunately, their backstory was just as poorly implemented as the stories of the previous premates. Their parents, Mary Sue and Daniel, were nowhere to be found, and they weren't really true to their original personalities. So I fixed it. I added Daniel and Mary Sue back to the game, fixed the backstories, and made Angela and Lilith themselves again. Today I'll show you all the changes that I've made in the game and give you access to four different save files that I've created for the university expansion. Angela and Lilith Pleasant live in the Sims 4 University world of Brightchester. Remember the Sims 4 is in an alternate timeline, so their ages may not make perfect sense with some of the other pre-mades that I've already added and fixed. You can blame either EA for that. In my save file, I am trying to preserve the alternate timeline storyline that EA created for The Sims 4 while also fixing The Sims themselves and their storyline. So here's the new story for The Sims 4 University. The Pleasant family is quite rich thanks to Daniel Pleasant's very lucrative athletic career and Mary Sue's business savvy, of course. When the girls got old enough to go to college, Daniel and Mary Sue purchased a house here in Willow Creek so they could be closer to the girls when they went to school. They purchased the very expensive Oakenstead lot in the rich part of Willow Creek. They also bought their daughters, Angela and Lilith, a house on campus so that they didn't have to live in the dorms. They bought them their own house here in the Gibbs Hill neighborhood, which is right in between the two universities. Each girl goes to a different university. Now the family has worked on their many issues over the years and things have gotten better. Mary Sue and Daniel have reconciled after Daniel was caught cheating with the maid back in Pleasant View and Angela and Lilith are no longer enemies. They are aren't exactly friends either, but they don't hate each other's guts anymore. Whether you want to go the enemy or the friend route is up to you. Right now they are acquaintances and it can go either way. So the girls have just moved to college and they don't know anyone on campus yet. There are some new families that were introduced with The Sims 4 University, um, the Fletcher household, the Elderberries who live just next door, and the best of friends. Because they just moved in and got settled into their new house, they haven't even started classes yet, so they haven't had a chance to meet any of these other Sims yet. In my Get Famous version of the university save file, they do have ties to the Dreamer and Broke households, but I'll tell you more about that later. First, let's talk about the actual changes to the girls' household. So first of all, I changed their household funds to around 883 simoleons from 20,000. This says to me that whoever created the girls and moved them in just created them, plopped them into a house with free real estate on, and didn't change up their funds or give any attention to their story or money or anything. It's highly unrealistic to me that they would be given 20,000 simoleons to go on go to college with. Yeah, their family's rich, but you're not going to send your kids off to college with 20,000 in cash. So I gave them around 800 simoleons to start their life with. They also have this very nice home. Like I said before, Mary Sue and Daniel purchased this house for them so they would have a nice place to live and they wouldn't have to live in the dorms. So let's talk about the house and the changes I've made. So the bottom floor, I pretty much just left it as is, and you can make it over however you like. Um, as you probably know, my save files are more focused on gameplay and stories than they are on aesthetics and builds, but I did make some changes aesthetically to this house. The second floor, this is basically Lilith's floor, and I did keep the rooms as they were, but I added more to them. Um, Lilith's room now has more clutter. I got her a radio and made it kind of messy, got her some instruments. This room over here just used to be like a bookshelf and a couch, so I made it into a little study room for Lilith where she could do her homework, gave her a computer and desk. Then the top floor, this is completely redone because before it was just chock full of super expensive fancy furniture, which again, I felt was really unrealistic. Yeah, the family has money. Yeah, the family bought them this house, but I don't feel like they would have just thrown tens of thousands of dollars worth of antique furniture into a basically a party house for their college age daughters. So I got rid of all that fancy furniture and gave Angela more 
inexpensive furniture that I still felt suited her. I made it kind of a girly room because I feel like Angela is quite a girly girl and just kind of toned it down a bit. I also gave her a study room out here in the hall or a little study area out here in the hall. And of course she has her own bathroom. She has her own walk-in closet, which I actually let her keep because I thought it was a really good idea. I definitely see Angela having an entire room for all of her clothes and shoes. <laughs> so those are the changes that I made to the house. Now let's talk about the girls themselves. First of all, I did give them minor makeovers. I actually felt like they did a really good job on their appearances. I liked their hairstyles and their facial features and everything. I just changed their clothes slightly to make match a little bit better in my opinion. Lilith definitely got more of a makeover than Angela did. I completely changed Lilith's outfit. And I also took away that god awful eyebrow piercing. Not that I have a problem with eyebrow piercings, but the one in The Sims 4 was so bad. It just doesn't sit right on the eyebrow. It's like, it looks like a forehead piercing. So I removed that. I let her keep the nose piercing and uh, gave her a little necklace there. And then Angela, she pretty much looks the same. I think I changed the color of her pants and I changed some of their other outfits up a little bit too. So changes that I made specifically for Angela. First of all, they had her aspiration set as painter extraordinaire, which to me, Angela has never shown any creative interest or ability in any of the previous games. I didn't like that. So I gave her a popularity aspiration instead. Now she has an aspiration of party animal. For her traits, they gave her the neat trait, which I removed because in The Sims 2, Angela only has three neat points. She is quite sloppy. So I didn't feel that suited her. I removed that and instead I added the active trait because in The Sims 2 she had nine active points. So I felt that was a lot better. I let her keep foodie and good because I did think those suited her pretty well. For her skills I added fitness level 2 since she is quite active and I removed the painting skill altogether. I also changed her major to culinary arts. She is now enrolled in the culinary arts program at the University of Brightchester. She's not started class yet, but she is going to be taking three different classes, kitchen knowledge, kind of chew, refining the palate, and meats of strength identifying cuts. Looks like she starts classes in about three days. For Lilith, her aspiration was originally public enemy, and I didn't really like that for Lilith. I don't really see her as an evil sim. Yeah, she might be a little mean sometimes, she gets in fights with her sister, but honestly, she's just misunderstood. So I didn't like her in the villainy kind of career path or degree path. Instead, I changed her aspiration to musical genius. Lilith has always been quite musical and creative in my games, so I thought this would suit her very well. For her traits, they gave her the kleptomaniac trait, which once again, I didn't see Lilith as that type of sim. So I removed that and instead gave her music lover. I let her keep slob and loner because those were pretty suitable. For her skills, I gave her guitar level five, painting level two, and violin level two. And the reason for this is because I changed her major to fine art. She now attends the Foxbury Institute, where she has taken painting one and digital painting with virtual brushes, and violin through the ages. So she's going to need violin, painting, and guitar for both her fine art degree and her musical genius aspiration. I just felt like fine art was so much more Lilith. I just, like I said before, I just don't see her as an evil, dastardly, villainous type of sim. She has everything that she needs here on the lot. There is an easel out on the back deck, and she also has a guitar and a violin in her room. Now let's talk about Daniel and Mary Sue. So this is the Daniel and Mary Sue that EA created that is on the gallery. They have a pleasant family on the gallery that's Daniel, Mary Sue, and Lilith and Angela as teens. So I got rid of Lilith and Angela as teens since they are obviously young adults in university. And I used Daniel and Mary Sue, but I changed them slightly. Daniel is an elder now. When you play The Sims 2, when the girls are teens, he is very close to becoming an elder. So in my mind, he's already aged up to an elder. Mary Sue is slightly younger than him. And right now, she has enough time to have another baby if that's something you want to do. She has eight days until she becomes an elder. So just... 
Just throwing that out there if you want to have them have another baby, she can do that. So in my world, Daniel, of course, is a serial romantic. He has the traits of romantic, active, and non-committal. He works in the athletic career. He is a professional athlete at level nine, making 242 simoleons an hour. So that's where all the family's money comes from, basically. Mary Sue, she never got to reach as high a level as she wanted to in her career, but she is all the way up to uh, level five, which is regional manager. She makes 58 simoleons an hour. Her aspiration, of course, is fabulously wealthy. She is a perfectionist, ambitious, and materialistic. Their relationship with each other is quite good. As I said before, they have reconciled, but Daniel still is a serial cheater. So it's possible that if you play them, he may cheat on Mary Sue and they may end up losing their relationship after all. But right now they're doing okay. I also added some relationships for them with the other Pleasant View Sims that they knew from before. In the base game save, Mary Sue knows Bella Goth and Mortimer Goth, while Daniel knows a few more people. Of course, he knows Bella. He also knows Dina. He know he is friends with Dodd. And he knows Mortimer Goth and he knows Nina. The other sims that you see here in the relationship panel are from my other save files and we're going to get to those in a second. So as I said before, I created four different save files. One is just base game and university. So if you only have the university expansion, you can download that one and you'll get all the fixes and changes that I've shown you so far. The second save file is university plus get to work. So if you have get to work and university, it will include all my base game fixes, all the university fixes I've shown you so far, and there will, the only change really is three of the careers. So Mortimer Goth will work in the scientist career, Jeffrey Langrab will work in the doctor career, and Don Lothario is an intern in the doctor career. The third save file is university plus get famous. So if you have both of these expansion packs, it includes all my base game fixes, all the university fixes, and some more ties between the broke dreamer and pleasant families. Since we're already in Daniel and Mary Sue's house, I'll talk about those here. So Daniel is still enemies with Dustin Broke. He still dislikes Dustin after all these years. He also is acquainted with Brandy Broke, Darren Dreamer, and Dirk Dreamer. So he has quite a few relationships in the various worlds here. Mary Sue, of course, knows Brandy also. She also is acquainted with Darren and Dirk. And she knows Dustin, but she doesn't dislike him like her husband does. She's acquainted with him. She she neither likes him nor dislikes him. I also just want to throw this out there, Kaylin Langerak. So I did not put Kaylin Langerak in this save file because in my mind, Mary Sue and Daniel were moving away from Pleasant View to help get away from all that drama that went down with Kaylin. But if you want Kaylin in your game, I have created her and put her up on the gallery. I'm sure there are a lot of other recreations of her out there too, if you don't like mine. But if you want mine, um, my ID is Pleasant Sims on the gallery and you can get her there. I'm also going to be putting all of these families up on the gallery if you just want to add them to a save that you already have and just incorporate them into your game or whatever. Keep in mind that they won't have their relationships if you just plop them down. You'll have to set those yourself. If there's a lot of demand for it, I can add Kaylin in and make another version of this save file. Just let me know if that's something you guys want me to do. Now let's talk about the girls' relationship. In the base game, they really don't know anybody besides their parents and each other, because like I said, they've just moved here and they don't know anybody yet. But if you get my Get Famous University save file, then they will obviously still have their old relationships. So Angela here is still dating Dustin. Whether they stay together or not is up to you, but they have maintained their relationship relationship. Um, Dustin is not in college with her. In fact, he is older than her in this world and he is already working in his career over in Del Sol Valley, but they're, they're making it work with a long distance relationship. Angela, of course, is acquainted with Brandy, Bobby, and Bo Broke. And she also knows Dirk Dreamer, Lilith's boyfriend. Lilith is still dating Dirk. Once again, they're having sort of a long distance relationship. Dirk has already moved on and got himself a career over in Del Sol Valley. While Lilith is here in Brightchester, the neighborhoods are pretty close to each other, I imagine, in my mind. But whether or not they're going to be able to work it out, I don't know. You'll just have to find out when you play. And she, of course, she knows Darren. And she also knows Dustin, who is Angela's boyfriend. 
Lilith doesn't know as many people as Angela because Angela is way more outgoing than her and Lilith prefers to spend most of her time alone, except for the little bit of time that she spends with her family or her boyfriend. The fourth save file that I have for you is the base game, get to work, get famous university save file. So if you have all four of those expansions, you can get everything, all of my fixes in one. I'll link to my blog post down below that has all these save files for you to go and download. They are all labeled very clearly. Obviously, the more expansion packs you have, the more integrated the stories and the more this is going to make sense. Don't forget to see my other videos on get famous and base game if you don't know what I've change there. I am still working on some other save files for the future and I don't know when those are going to be out but I will let you guys know I will keep you updated on my progress. Right now this should give you a really good base to start from if you just want to get in there and play these pre-made sims that you know and love and you want them to be themselves again. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.